Hey guys, and welcome back to another day in the life of a 25 year old minister's wife, mom, and mother. Honey, I've been gone for a little minute, but listen, I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, if you guys have been keeping up on me and Tyler's couple channel, then you already know that we had a lot of stuff going on i will be reposting those videos for those of you who do not follow our couples channel but anywho if you are new here please subscribe welcome to the family if you don't know you are in the family sis or bro so i love you and welcome my name is deja harper and i hope that you are having a great great day so let's get into this everyday sunday morning routine i have to play my worship music listen that's the first step because I already be tired of having to roll out the bed because Sunday's on press. Maybe you're in ministry. And I'm the type of person, y'all, I'ma just keep it real. Sundays are a press. Sometimes ministry is a press. Um, so those of you who feel like you don't have a balance or you need an outlet outside of ministry, make sure you are spending quality time with God first, of course. And then just having time for yourself if you're single, making time for yourself, even if you are married, and making time for your family. You really, really, really need that. This past week, me and my husband and our daughter, we just decided to get up and go out of town. We missed Bible study. Um, we just needed a recharge. You know, we just needed some quality time together. And I just believe that that is so, so, so important. And guys, at any moment, if you have any questions about ministry or how do I do this or what do I do when something happens, just drop a comment down below. I never have a problem with answering questions or leaving some tips. Now, guys, I did say all of that. I am not encouraging you to miss church all the time. I'm simply talking about just getting out and getting a recharge for yourself because sometimes um, the weight of ministry can be a little heavy and it's easy to lose yourself just like with anything else but it's all about having a balance and god is all about having a balance and like i said i'm not encouraging you to just be like oh i don't feel like doing church because it's gonna be some days you don't feel like it but you have to press you have to press and guess what it's always a blessing in the pressing so we doing this makeup we did the eyebrows like i said in my last video y'all i do try to let my eyebrows grow out about two to three weeks because it just always to me give a fuller and thicker look now if you are interested in seeing everything that i use in my makeup routine for my makeup routine you can go to my updated soft glam look that i just posted a few days ago like I said, I've been a little off schedule with my posting, but guess what, y'all? I'm a flood y'all this week. I'm flooding this week, baby. Flooding this week. Also, guys, I do want to say that I do not sleep in my wig every night. Some days I do. Most days I do not because I like to feel my scalp and I don't be wanting to feel no hair on me. I've honestly been wanting some braids, the bohemian braids to be exact, but I haven't gotten them because braids are pretty and all, but the maintenance of trying to sleep with them and all that, it just, just thinking about it just is irritating me. <laughs> and it's been so hot. Like this has been the hottest summer for me. Like I'm not going to lie y'all. Like when I was pregnant last year, I felt like it wasn't as hot last year during the summertime. But this summer here in Mobile, Alabama, if you're from Mobile, Alabama, you know what I'm talking about. It has been extremely, extremely hot. And with that being said, y'all, when it came to my when it comes to my makeup routine now, I've been doing like lighter makeup because it's just easier and it's cooler. I don't have to worry about sweating. I don't really sweat on my face like that anyways, but I've been doing like a light beat because I can't. I can't. And then it get hot in church when you start praising the Lord and all that. So, no, baby, no. But y'all know I got to make y'all laugh. But I am putting on my mascara now. Basically done. As y'all can see, the beat was simple. And I just been doing new lips. I went ahead and put on my clothes, y'all, because I think at this point it was about 620 or like 640 maybe. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> 640. And I was like, baby, I got to hurry up. Now, I was proud of myself because I was able to do my full makeup and I was able to do my hair and stuff before I got baby girl ready. This Sunday was actually the Sunday when my husband was preaching in New Jersey and I had to do everything by myself. 
myself Saturday night and Sunday morning. So I was pushing for time and guess what y'all, when I left the house, I had everything in the car. <laughs> I had everything in the car, I was gonna go up to Soundcheck and I had to turn around and go get my shoes. So this is for you, okay? As a mother and all that, just go ahead and put the bag in the car the night before and make sure your shoes in the car the night before. I think what my thing is though is like trying to find out what shoes I'm going to wear because it's so easy to say you're going to wear one outfit and then when you actually put it on you're just like ah, I'm not feeling this anymore so I'm going to go with this. So now it's time to get my nosy, observative baby ready. I mean, she be looking and staring the camera down. I think that is so funny. But her outfit, y'all, is from Timu. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But when I tell y'all, they have the cutest clothes. Actually, guys, this dress that I have on is actually from Timu, too. One thing that I do recommend when you're shopping for yourself as a woman from Timu is make sure you read the reviews and make sure you're looking at the sizing and all that. Because there was a lot of items that I bought y'all that did not fit me and I had to end up giving it away. Because I'm tall and long, it just didn't fit for me. So you have to make sure you look at all the reviews. Baby girl did really good when I was doing her hair when she was looking at the camera jam and it was real quick and simple and easy she cooperated really 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 well so now i'm trying to see if i want to put these glasses on mm, this is the blazer that i'm wearing y'all it really needed to be ironed but i was already late it was like nah, i ain't gonna have no time for that you know <laughs> and i'm putting oil in this hair i absolutely love long black straight hair to me, it just makes my face look slimmer. It's black and it, it makes the hair look very, very healthy. And it was literally given like, it's coming out your scalp, sis. And I applied this myself with ebb and glue. I didn't have no got to be. Anyways, guys, this is me and my baby girl. I was trying to get her to say bye. She had an attitude and I was just laughing. I made her smile by tickling her. She's so cute. Look at her little pants, y'all. We should have took a picture, but of course we didn't. But it's okay. I'm more than likely just going to have to sacrifice getting up a little bit earlier just to get some pictures with baby girl. So we leave and headed out for church, but y'all know I had to go in and spray with the bourbon because I forgot to put on perfume. I took the glasses off, but let me know if y'all like the look with the glasses or without the glasses. So we finally made it to church, y'all, and Apostle was going in on the word, building a healthy marriage. This entire series has been helping me and Tali so much. So as y'all can see, it was hot. And y'all seen me before church. This was me after church. Baby girl was asleep, and I was like, oh yes, this is perfect. So like I told y'all earlier, my husband was going. And with that being said, it was time for me to cook. That way when he come back, he come home to a clean house and a home cooked meal. So I was like, babe, what you want? And he told me on the phone, babe, I want some broccoli cheese casserole. Y'all, when I was younger, I was obsessed with broccoli cheese casserole. I felt like nobody could make it like my mama. But, you know, I tried something a little different than my mom. I did go with the recipe that she normally used. I think my mom used to just use cream of mushroom, if I'm not mistaken. But I used cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. So I already washed my chicken and now it's time to cut it up. Now I didn't go in and beat my chicken breast. I really forgot. But anyways, get your skillet out sis and put you some butter in there and let the butter melt all in the pan. So the butter is finally melted y'all and this is optional for you. Sometimes I season my stuff in the pan you can season it out of the pan, but y'all, depending on how I'm feeling today, I'll just season it in the pan like I did this day. If you have children, you totally understand. You have to get all the time to yourself when you can and however you can. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I am seasoning with salt, pepper, accent sauce, and I put some salzon seasoning on there. If you don't have salzon, I need you to run to the store and go get it now. You can get it from Walmart, Publix, or Winn-Dixie. It doesn't matter whichever store is most convenient for you, but it just tops off your seasoning for the dish that you're cooking. So the chicken is finally 
finally done i'm about to place it in another separate pan guys and now i'm about to put on my rice i do wash mine off before i put it on the stove baby and yeah now we finna season these veggies i bought some already minced onions guys and i'm about to saute it along with my broccoli Just to let you guys know, I did steam my broccoli before putting them in the same pot as the onions. Now guys, it's time to add my cream of chicken and my cream of chicken and mushroom. And I'm just going to let that simmer in the pot and then I'm going to add seasoning to my taste, to my liking. And I'm going to add some cheese. I also added some heavy whipping cream, guys. I added this just for more moisture for when I do add everything together because you don't want your regular cheese. Guys, you want to be dry, honey? No, no, no. So now we're just stirring guys. You want to make sure you stir and add seasoning along the way. I added some sharp cheddar cheese guys and it was tasting good. And now I'm about to add my chicken and my broccoli and rice y'all. And we finna mix this up real quick like. So now guys, we are almost done and I did already preheat the oven to about four. I think it was 400 or either 350, one of them. Um, but I let it cook for about 15 minutes guys and this was the final look. I didn't eat any of the food because I was like, I'm waiting for my husband to get home. But this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I love y'all and until next time, peace.